education to pursue. A man that tries to inspire us to do everything we can and be more than we can be. And I don't just say that because he was in the army. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, Mr. Peter <coughs> Drew. Still, it kind of reminds me of something. If it hasn't happened to you, it will. You're going to be sitting in a situation and you have this one job and you're working. And then suddenly, there's a second job and you're working. And then all of a sudden, there's a third job and you're working. And you're thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have success. I want to get at least one, and then a fourth job lead pops up, and you're working it. And you're going, oh my Lord, four job leads, something has to come to fruition. And then all of a sudden, one drops off, <laughs> for some reason, whatever it may be. And then a second one drops off. And then the third one drops off. And then the fourth one dies. And you're right back to where you were in the beginning. The point that you have to remember is the fact that you were so good, you were working for job leads. Just because you weren't selected, for whatever that reason may be, it's because of them, not because of you. You have to remember what you bring to the table. You have to remain positive. You have to believe in yourself. Because as long as you continue to believe in yourself, somebody else is going to look at you and say, this is the person I want to talk to. But if you start losing that confidence, then all of a sudden you're going to come across as being desperate. And when you come across as being desperate, who wants to hire you? When was the last time you hired an angry person? When was the last time you hired a desperate person? You have to keep believing that in that universe, there is a job that's out there that has your name on it. And every night when you're brushing your teeth, look in the mirror and say, Hi, my name is, and there's a job out there that has my name on it. It's not unusual. I'm not going to say that it happens all the time, but it's not unusual for a brown editor to be just like a tilly. And then all of a sudden, it's, oh my God, which job do I take? You know, imagine what kind of a quandary, what a positive quandary that is. Which job do I take? It's to Tina's point. Even if you're working a job lead, you don't stop searching. You keep sending your resumes. You keep going on your networking. You keep making contacts. Now, I have a rule of thumb. Until I get my first paycheck, I don't have a job. <coughs> because God only knows what's going to happen between the day I walk in the door and the day they give me my first paycheck. I will feel a lot more comfortable when I deposit that check in my bank account. So keep in mind, you keep plugging at it. You have value. You must bring that value to the table. You must believe in your value, and you have to tell yourself you have value. Because if you believe you have value, then the employer will believe it as well. Everybody understand? <laughs> that sucked. Everybody understand? <laughs> uh, much better.